Atsushi Shimizu, the founder of the energy firm Chal Energy, decided to focus on a new turbine design. His primary aim was to redesign wind turbines because traditional propeller wind turbines in Japan have substantial disadvantages when it comes to storms. Hurricanes and typhoons are tough on these turbines. In just one storm in Japan in 2013, eight turbines were destroyed and eight were severely damaged out of 16 wind turbines. These turbines are each worth millions of dollars. But is it possible to turn things around? Is it possible to use this force to power the entire city? Is it possible to harness the energy the world needs by using the power of hurricanes? This is Engineering Wonders, and let's explore if hurricanes could power the world. NASA states that an average hurricane can create as much energy as produced by the explosion of 10,000 nuclear bombs. But how much energy are we talking about exactly? Hurricanes are powerful enough to destroy cities. When you hear of a hurricane, you immediately think of cars exiting the city in a hurry and houses and lives getting struck down. The onslaught Katrina brought in her wake was brutal. Imagine if we could harness the power that Hurricane Katrina brought to the shores of Florida in 2005. As of 2022, Hurricane Katrina is the costliest hurricane, with a bill amounting to $108 billion. In 2021, during the Atlantic hurricane season, there were 11 hurricanes with winds 74 miles per hour or greater. Oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> According to the Atlantic Oceanographic and Meteorological Laboratory, the energy generated by the winds of a typical mature hurricane is 1.5 terawatts. It equals over a quarter of the total electrical generating capacity of the entire planet. Are you amazed enough? Hold on, there's more. Hurricanes also release energy through clouds and rain. When we calculate how much energy an average storm generated by the formation of these two, the numbers will blow your mind. It releases 600 terawatts. Christopher Lancy, a hurricane expert with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration stated, the total energy released through cloud and rain formation in an average hurricane is equivalent to 200 times the worldwide electrical generating capacity. And this is from one typical hurricane. That's what I call power. Now the billion dollar question remains, can we use this energy on our behalf? Is it possible to harness this much power as renewable energy to save the planet? And how to chase down a hurricane to harness its energy? Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson once said, Countless thousands of cars exiting a city because a hurricane is coming. Where are the engineers and scientists saying, you know, instead of running away from the city that's about to be destroyed by this hurricane, let me figure out a way to tap the cyclonic energy of this hurricane to drive the power needs of the city that is otherwise going to destroy it. Well, it's safe to say that it's not impossible. Scientists and engineers are currently working to make this dream come true. To harness wind energy, they have even considered building windmills along the path of a storm. However, turbines would have to be strong enough to withstand the destructive forces of tornadoes and hurricanes while still being mobile enough to be safely stationed in the storm's path. Some researchers are looking toward 24-hour electricity generation systems that can resist hurricane forces, while also allowing them to make use of the enhanced power potential when a storm strikes. Another approach to the subject comes from an entrepreneur, the founder of the energy firm Chal Energy, Atsushi Shimizu, that's why he built a streamlined design with vertical blades placed between upper and lower platforms to endure Japan's powerful storms. This extraordinary design presents a new energy opportunity 
for areas with significant wind potential that were previously hampered by storm risk. But it is not easy to tame a hurricane. We people are designed with a brilliant imagination and problem-solving abilities, either to destroy everything or to power the world, just like hurricanes. Until technology catches up to our dreams, generating renewable energy from hurricanes will be waiting for us in the future. But it really would be the ultimate green energy if we could rein in the hurricanes. Let us know in the comments if you believe it's possible to harness the energy from hurricanes in your lifetime.